my dad was always someone that overreacted. If I sneezed, he'd go, what? Are you okay? What happened? Yeah, dad, it was just a sneeze. I always thought it was weird that he would react that way because he's a doctor. And I thought, you know, a doctor should know what he was doing in an emergency. And, you know, he shouldn't freak out like that. As a child, I always thought it was him being super protective or super anxious or, I mean, really, it was being him, him being super Jewish. And I never really understood why it happened. Uh, if we were going on a trip somewhere three hours before the flight, you'd see his anxiety pick up and he'd start getting really agitated. Like, Dad, it's going to be okay. We'll make it to our flight. We'll be fine. I learned very quickly that I needed to react to his overreaction, and that was just the only way that I could cope with it. When my parents moved from New York to Reno, Nevada, I thought, this will be great for my family. Our collective anxiety will go down. My father will learn to chill out. He'll be like all other Nevadans, and he'll just go with the flow. It'll be great. During my first trip out there, I realized that was not the case. I realized that my father didn't change. He didn't know how to relax. And it just made us fish out of water. We just didn't really fit in with any other Nevadan. The only thing that really did fit in, the reason that we sort of thought we would become Nevadans, was that everyone in Nevada has a boat. We had a boat, and so we thought, we'll be just like all the other Nevadans. We'll take our boat up to Lake Tahoe. We'll boat around all day. It'll be great. We'll have a perfect Nevada day. Our boat was called Third Class. <laughs> My last name is Class, so it was a play on our last name. But it really described the boat perfectly. It was old, it didn't really run all that well, it was, you know, shouldn't be out on the water. But we were gonna take it and we were gonna be Nevadans. It was gonna be great. During that first trip up to the lake, it was my parents, my older brother, myself, our dog Mo, and the inner tube. I was really excited about the inner tube because Lake Tahoe is freezing cold. You never wanna touch the water, it's too cold, so the inner tube was gonna be perfect. I wouldn't have to touch the water. We haul the boat up over the mountains, get to Lake Tahoe, get to the boat ramp, and we're stopped. Nevada boat ramp operator tells us, you're missing the back boat plug, that if you put the boat in the water, you will sink. <laughs> Pull the boat back up. It was like the boat was just needling us, like everyone else, and we weren't Nevadans. We just, it was taunting us. We pull the boat back up, go to the boat yard, get a boat plug, come back. Same boat, op boat ramp operator tells us, you have zebra mussels on the bottom of your boat, can't let you in, you'll infect the lake and you'll ruin everything. So pull the boat back out, go back to the boat yard, have the mussels taken off our boat, I don't know what the process is, but finally get the boat back to the boat ramp, finally allowed in. It was humiliating because everyone knew who we were. It was our third time to this ramp, couldn't get our boat in the water, You're just clearly not from Nevada. Finally we are in the water, everything seems great, my dad starts the boat and it won't turn on. It was just one last time that the boat just knew that we didn't belong and just wanted everyone to see that we didn't belong. Finally, I don't know what he did, boat starts. We're perfectly happy, having a great Nevada day. Everything's great. I don't know, maybe 30 minutes into the boat ride just as we're about to start eating lunch and gonna go tubing, it was gonna be great. My dad says, do you guys smell something? It smells kind of weird out here. It's like, Dad, it's fine. You're overreacting. It's not a big deal. And he says, no, 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 I think I smell something. And he turns around, and the, the bench that we were sitting on at the back of the boat had smoke billowing out from underneath it. And all of a sudden, he goes, everyone off the boat. Get off the boat. The boat is on fire. And he just went into his emergency crisis management mode, and he flipped out. He's hit, throwing life jackets at everyone. Get off the boat as fast as you can. My mom picks up the dog because the dog is freaking out because my dad's freaking out. And... He's like, Elliot, off the boat! And he throws my brother over, overboard. <laughs> and I don't, Dad, it's going to be okay. Don't worry about it. He turns off the boat. I'm like, Dad, it'll be fine. Let's just calm down. He goes, no, it's not going to be fine. And takes out flare guns and starts shooting flare guns in the air like Yosemite Sam. And just, he's like, someone's going to see us. They're going to save us. Dad, it's going to be fine. He's like, no, Nate, it's not. And my mom is still holding the dog. And she says, Evan, what do we do about the dog? You know the dog doesn't like water. Nate, get off the boat, and throws me overboard. And now I'm in the water, and I'm pissed, because I am freezing cold, I don't think it's a big deal, I don't really understand why my dad is freaking out, 
I mean, I'm looking up at the boat, it doesn't seem like the smoke is increased in size. It looks about the same. So I don't really understand what's happening. My dad's still freaking out. My mom's still holding the dog. She says, Evan, what do we do about the dog? My dad turns to her and goes, fuck the dog. And my mom starts crying immediately because now she's freaking out that my dad's freaking out that the dog is freaking out. And my dad says, get in the inner tube. And he takes the inner tube, puts it in the water and throws my mom and the dog into the inner tube. And he is now the only one left on the boat. We're all pissed in the water looking at him up at a boat that is clearly not on fire anymore. And he's holding flare guns. And it was a classic father overreaction. And by the time that we're all calming down when we realize that the boat is clearly not on fire anymore, my dad is the only one who is okay with everything. At, it's at this point that someone finally comes over having seen the multiple flares in the air freaking out in the middle of Lake Tahoe. And they say, you guys need some help? Like, yeah, I think our boat was on fire, my dad said. Oh, it, it doesn't look like it's on fire anymore. My dad said, yeah, I think we, I think we got it covered. The guy said, oh, let me tow you back to shore. My dad's like, oh, great, everything's fine. And I couldn't believe it because I was pissed. My mom is still crying. The dog is crying because my mom is crying. My brother seems pretty okay. But we were all soaking wet and freezing cold and pissed at my father. It was in the boat ride being towed back to shore that I started to calm down and I realized that my father always overreacted. He just always clicked to like number 10 on the scale and he just, that was just how he reacted. But my reaction to his overreaction wasn't really helping anything because really all he was doing was trying to protect us because he loved us. And so in the end, that's not really a bad, bad thing. Uh, and so I've learned to let him have his reaction. Thanks.